Earlier today, I was doing some gardening. You know, having a general tidy up, doing some weeding, and I kept finding all these saplings in my garden. You know, saplings, like baby trees. But I hadn't planted them there. And that got me thinking about where they come from. I don't have any trees in my garden. So I had a look over the fence, and what did I see? A whole row of trees. But I couldn't work out how they got into my garden. So I had another better look around. And do you know what I found? I found loads of these. These are the seeds from the trees at the back of my house. Now they're quite small here, so I've done a bigger picture for you. And what they are, is there a seed at the bottom, and then there a big wing from a sycamore tree. And I thought, well, that must be how they got into my garden. They were spinners. And that got me thinking more and more about spinners and how seeds can be dispersed, spread from the parent tree further away into somebody else's garden, my garden. So I started thinking about investigating spinners. And I started building a simple one to start with, just to see how it would work. Do you want to see? Okay, get ready. <laughs> there it is. So I began investigating more with the spinners because spinners are quite interesting and they're quite exciting. Can you think of anything you already know about this? Pause the recording to have a think. I wonder if you thought of any of these. So when I was investigating my spinners, I was thinking, what do all good spinners have to have? And I came up with the idea that they probably needed wings. And this was a perfect opportunity for me to do some more investigating. So I had my basic spinner, my template, and I started playing around with it. And I took that template and I changed the size of the wings on my spinners to see what would happen. And I also had a look at nature itself. Could I copy the spinners that were flying into my garden? So I made one here with a wing and a little bit of blue tack for the seed. And I thought about other seeds that were flying around. And dandelions popped into my head. So I looked, could I make a dandelion spinner? something similar to a dandelion. Hmm. Again, it needed to have some wings. And then I played around with huge different spinners and different designs to see if I could get the same spinning action from something else. All the time thinking about the wings. Eventually though, I decided I was going to try something completely different. And I went for a whole new type of seed it's like a pig's tail, isn't it, this one? But again, I needed to have the wings on my spinners to help them to work properly. There are so many different designs you could try, and they could all do different things. What questions do you have? Pause the recording to have a think. I wonder if you thought of any of these questions. What will you choose to find out more about today?
I've had a lot of fun investigating spinners and I realised that being able to spin is quite a good thing, especially if you're a seed and you need to be dispersed over a long distance. I wonder how many other types of ways there are for seeds to be dispersed and to be spread around from one place or another. Do some of them glide? Do some of them tumble? Maybe some of them explode out. I don't think any of them fly, but who knows? Whatever you do though, have fun investigating spinners, play around as much as you can, see what you can discover, but remember to tell somebody what you find out. <laughs> Spinners, they're good fun, aren't they?